Good day to you, I'm Lion Harpu and welcome back to another video. Uh, approximately two years ago I uploaded this video here, a tutorial on how to use the One Killer's special map tool for Scrap Mechanic. It's currently the best performing video on my channel, and new people seem to be viewing it every single day. But I am getting a lot of comments like this one where they can't find the cells.json file, this one can't find the cells.json file, can't find the sales of JSON file and people asking if I'm ever going to do an updated version of it since Scrap Mechanic has been updated. And even recently, people are still commenting asking me for an updated version. Or some experience some very strange issues. The reason I put it off for so long was that I wanted to wait for chapter two to come out because I'm sure <laughs> the mod will change again. I have to do another update, but I think I've finally come to terms with the fact that this is not coming out anytime soon. So I just got my head down, got on with it, and here it is. I would really appreciate it if you don't mind hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't done so already, as it will really help me out. Okay, let's get on with it. So first things first, we need to visit this website. Uh, the link is in the description below, so you can get it from there. Make sure you are on the right one. There are different versions. You wanna make sure the one you're looking at looks like this. If you're on the old version, which is a different URL, it will look like this, and you will see the word deprecated below. If you're seeing this, please don't download this and install this. This is not the version, it will not work. There's a link to this version on this page, so you can just click that to get to the right one. Just make sure you're on the right page, and then you can download the right one, which will work. So now we need to download the code. So there's a green code button, left click on it, and then you get the option to download zip. This is going to download a zip file, which essentially is uh, one file that contains all of the code that the one killer has produced for this mod. Next, I will take you through how we extract it and install it. This will typically download onto your C drive in your downloads folder. I have a slightly different setup, so it's actually downloaded to my D drive uh, in downloads, and there's the file there, as you can see. If you right click on it, uh, Windows will give you an option to extract it. So you just need to click on extract all. I am running Windows 11. If you're running Windows 10, it's very similar. It might look different, but the options are the same. Now you need to specify in what folder you want the extracted files to go. Making a, it's making a suggestion here uh, of SM underscore overview main but i'm going to take that out and i'll show you why afterwards just down keeping it like, like this is sufficient then click next and it will extract all the files to that folder for you as you can see because the zip file contains a folder called sm overview main anyway it's outputted all those files to that folder hence me leaving it out otherwise you'd have two folder a folder within a folder if you open that up you'll now see all the files that we've downloaded Something I will typically recommend before we go any further is to verify your integrity of your game files. To do this, go to Scrap Mechanic in Steam, select the cog on the right hand side, down to Properties, and from this settings pop up, you just need to select Local Files on the left hand side. Now, this is important because if you've installed any other mods, or perhaps you've attempted to install this mod before, it will make this tutorial very difficult to follow because things will be different. As you can see here, I have two files that failed validation and therefore they've been downloaded and set to default. Now, the first thing that the one killer suggests you do before you install this mod is back up your save. Yeah, this is really important. Now, these will typically be stored on your C drive. So if you go to your C drive, go to users, click on the, your username, and you'll be presented with this similar kind of folder structure. What we're looking for is a folder called app data. Now this is hidden, so you're gonna to have to go to view, show, and show hidden items. And you'll notice that that then now pops up. So now you can click on app data. This is where, where your save games are stored. So go into Roman, Axolot games, um, and then into scrap mechanic. User, then user with a long string of numbers. And in here, some of your personal game files. Click on save. First, you're gonna see a list of your creative world saves. So we need to go into the survival folder. So left click on the one that you want to make a backup of. 
right click on it, click copy, left click, and then click paste. Now what I typically can do, you can leave it like this, but I like to add the word backup to it so that I know it's clean, I know exactly what it is. And there we go. You've just successfully made a backup of your save game. You can see here, I re-verified my game files and all of them were successfully validated. So I have no differences from the default game. Now, if you click on this browse button here, it will take you to the folder where, where your game files are stored. This is where we need to edit certain files. So you can keep this open for later. So if you now open up the download where we extracted those files and open that folder, there's a number of files in there, but the two that we're interested in are terrainoverworld.lua and tiledatabase.lua. Now in the same way that we backed up our save game, I'm gonna suggest that we back up these files in our game files before we do anything. So go back to the game file folder that we opened earlier down to scripts, into terrain, here, and then you'll see terrain overworld there. Left click on it, right click, select copy, then left click just below, right click and hit select paste. Once again, for consistency, I'm going to rename this backup, but that step's not important. Now go into your overworld folder and we're looking for tile database and do the same. Left click, right click, select copy, Move down, left click, right click, and select paste. And once again, I'm going to rename mine to backup. So now we have those two files backed up. We can go back to the terrain folder and we can open up terrain overworld.lua. And I'm using a tool called Notepad, which is really good for things like this, but you can use Notepad that comes with Windows. It really doesn't matter. Now go to the downloaded files and open the same file in there. You can either position these side by side, or if you've got Notepad++ like me, you have them open in two different tabs. Just make sure you look at the path to where you're editing the file. Okay, so let's have a look at the terrain overworld.lua that exists in the downloaded folder. And you'll notice that the instructions tell you to copy the lines from 132 down to 157. Just make sure that it is the lines that start with local cells equals, and then the two parentheses, all the way down to 157 with this is the word end, which is just below the, the print command. Now, once you've selected all the text, just right click and select copy. Now, looking at the terrain overworld.lua file that exists in your game file section, there's a number of things to note here. The instructions actually specify putting, pasting the lines that we've just copied approximately around line 71 in this file, uh, which should be after a, a function called create cell tile storage keys. If we go down to line 71 now, you'll notice that obviously that function's not there. It's a little bit further down. It's down on line 108. However, this is still incorrect. This is where I think a lot of people are going wrong and why you're not getting the cells.json file created. Notice this function is called create. And just below it, this function is called load. Now these functions actually serve two different purposes. Create is when you're creating a new world and load is when you're loading the existing world. So most likely, if you're not getting the cells.json file, you probably pasted it into the wrong function. So just be very careful when, when doing this and paste it into the load function underneath the create cell tile storage keys. You'll see, if you look at the downloaded version, you'll see that it is in the function load. So that's a good key giveaway there, which function it should be in. So I've set my cursor just below the create cell tile storage keys function, and I'm going to right click and select paste and it will paste the text in that we copied from the other file. Now don't forget to save the file now you've made the changes. You can do this in a number of ways depending on what uh, program you're using. Here I can click this little save icon or you can go into file and save depending on what program you're using. Now there's one more thing we need to do before we're ready to generate the, these this map. So here we can take the tile database file. Now don't forget right click copy 
and move over to your game files, making sure you're in the right folder. Select the overworld folder. And here we've got a backup so we can just paste the file that we've copied and replace it without any worries. It's as simple as that. Now all you need to do is fire up your game. You'll notice the backup is there as well, but let's set, select the main one and just click play. Once the game loads, it will run the code that we pasted into that Terrain Overworld Lua file. This is my world. Clearly it's a new one I set up earlier, ready for this testing. I'd expect that your game save will be much further along in gameplay than this, but it doesn't matter. So here you don't need to do anything. You can now just exit the game and go back to the game file folder. And we're nearly there. What we're gonna look for now is a file called cells.json. This would have been created by the script. So you need to navigate back to the survival folder and down the bottom, you'll see cells.json. If you don't see this, please go back a step and make sure you have pasted the code into the right function. It's in the load function. Now we're interested in the contents of cells.json. So we're gonna left click on it, right click and go to open. Again, it doesn't matter what text editing tool you use, notepad's fine. So for information purposes, this is simply a text file which lists every single tile, its position, and it has a tile ID, which allows this mod to know which picture or which tile to display where. However, you don't need to concern yourself with this. All we need to do is select all of this text. So go to edit, select all, right click, and then copy. And that's got all the text now in our clipboard. Now we need to navigate to our website, which is gonna help us with the next step. It's codebeautify.org slash JSON minifier. The link is in the description below. So don't worry about remembering that. Uh, it does pop up a few adverts. You're gonna have to just click them away. No big deal. And we just need to simply paste the code in the left-hand side by right-clicking and going to paste. For me, you can see it's automatically done its thing on the right hand side you can see it's now formatted that all differently and if that doesn't happen you can get rid of this advert here just make sure you click minify and compress button at the bottom and that will do it for you once you've done that just click this copy button here and that will now copy all of everything that's on the right hand side and now we can go back to our download folder uh, into the html folder and we're going to open this index.html it will present this security warning, but don't worry, this script is safe, not a problem. And before we can paste that copied code from the website, we need to do one more thing. On line 26, we need to type two backticks. That's the key just to the left of the one. You can see my keyboard here. That's what I'm talking about, that one there. So again, just go to line 26, go to those brackets and just type two of those backticks there. When you've done that, move your cursor so you are in between those two backticks that you've just typed. And then go to edit and paste. And that will paste all the tile information into this HTML page. Once again, very important, save the file, otherwise it won't work. We just need to go back to the folder where you have downloaded this mod. And now we just need to open up that index.html file. So you just need to double click on it and it'll open up in your browser. And it would look something like this. And now you can drag and move around. You can zoom in, zoom out. You see down here, that's the crash site that you start the game in. Um, you can see all the tiles have positioned themselves as per the JSON file that was created. Um, you can move around. Let's have a look. So there's the trader. And then you've got all the other key elements. There's warehouses show up. And I believe up here you've got, yep, there's the city, scrap city. And there you go, you've got all the roads, you can see everything. If you're interested, you can click on the map statistics and it shows you all the different types of cell types you've got. So you can see how many lakes you've got, et cetera, et cetera, and all the points of interest. Uh, in this video, I'm not planning to explain how you set this up if you have uh, your own web server. I think if you're smart enough to have a web server, 
you probably don't need this tutorial anyway. But if you do, or if you want me to elaborate on anything else, just drop me a comment down below. The only thing I would suggest you do now is go back to your game folder and we're going to restore the backup files. So from the survivals folder, select scripts into terrain. Now you can just delete the terrain overworld.lua file that's there. That's the one that we've added additional code to. So you can delete that and just rename your backup one. Make sure it's exactly as specified here. Don't have any additional spaces or it won't work. So terrain underscore overworld.lua. Then go into overworld, delete the tile underscore database dot Lua, and then rename your backup one to tile underscore database dot Lua. No spaces, no other text in there. Make sure it's like that. Additionally, you can re-verify your game files and it will fix those two files for you, but that's just a quick way of doing it. I hope you found this video useful. I'm sorry it's taken me two years to, to do an update, but I hope you understand my reasoning. If you want to send me some thanks, then just write a comment down below. Maybe watch a couple of my videos or something from start to finish. That really help out the channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.